Clarendon was a town that was noted for being um, a place for the saints, and so therefore it got the name of, by the cowboys and those around it as Saints Roost. Clarendon's newspaper was founded by the same man who founded the town. Well, the Clarendon Enterprise was started in 1878 by Reverend Lewis Carhart. He's the Methodist minister who founded Clarendon and it was started as a monthly publication and the whole purpose at the time was to try to attract settlers to the to the new colony of Clarendon. Roger Eslack is the owner of the paper. I'm the publisher, I'm the editor, I'm the head reporter, I'm you know one of the head photographers. I do just about everything. I take out the trash. He's also got a couple employees. You know, having a boss that understands that like, you have a small child that has things going on at school and, you know, other functions. His family has been in the newspaper business for decades. My great-grandfather started a paper in Clarendon called the Donnelly County Leader in 1929, and his sons ran the paper then until 1974. Eslag's wife, Ashley, also contributes. And then Roger gave me my first job. And I was a senior in high school. The paper is put together using a software program, but it's not printed in town. Printing is done at Community Printers in Shamrock. In fact, that company prints 32 papers. I was the production director for the Emerald Globe News, uh, and we were printing quite a few of the small weekly newspapers at that time. We were printing Shamrock over at the Globe News. Uh, we decided to put in our own press and, and start the business there because the Globe News had, had uh, stopped printing all of the weekly newspapers. The pages come to us on a, they're uploaded to a server called BoxNet that we rent space on and they come to us as a PDF, each individual page. And I will place the page into a template on my computer and then all I do is print it, I just choose print, and I'll send it to this machine which is a CTP machine and it lasers the image onto the plate. Back in Clarendon, the papers are ready to be distributed. We do have the oldest newspaper in the Panhandle, so that's exciting and no one else can claim that. The Saints Roost Museum has an exhibit. Well, it is pretty amazing to still actually still have a paper that can dispense all the local news. We're the recorder of history for Clarendon and for Donnelly County. And since 1878, the publishers of the Clarendon Papers have been uh, occupying a special place. And that's our biggest purpose is to keep the community connected. Larry Lemons, Pro News 7.